Promised Neverland. I've read all of Attack on Titan. Um, I want to start reading Shield Hero a little bit. All hail Lelouch. I love Code Geass as well. I think it's phenomenal. Should I have luck? Is Promise Neverland a good read? Honestly, the way the second season of the anime is going, you kind of have to read it. They're butchering the show. They're skipping over like actually good arcs. They're like, everyone is, I'm, I'm on like the Promise Neverland um, Reddit or subreddit. And man, everyone's so upset. They're like, what are they doing to the sh Like, why do they skip this? Why do they not have this character? Everyone's so upset. It's hilarious. Yeah, second season's not even good. Honestly, Promise Never Anime, your thoughts kind of disappoint. Yeah, I think season two is very... Dis I, think, I think the show would have been better if they just did season one and ended it and did nothing else. I think I think season one was very unique in the way it was so mysterious. It was so fucking suspenseful. It it's everything past what ends up happening at the end of season one is just it's irrelevant. I think it should have just stayed one season and ended forever. It would have gone down as like a classic. Do I have a mana? I'm kind of just mindlessly forcing here. I don't have a mana or a pulse. God damn it! All right. Do I have a club? What am I supposed to go with these items? The comic is pretty good. Which comic? Yo, how's it going, Ganja? Jujitsu case in one crunchy rewards? Heard of it. Have I heard of it, Exis? Yeah, I love Jujitsu. Mana. Mana, we got blink. Canvas, launch mark eleven armor. Some assembly required. Behold the tundra. So are we just gonna be hard dirty forces here? Cause I'm down. I personally don't like cartoons. I grew up reading instead, so I don't appreciate them. Gotcha. Yeah, I grew up watching them. I don't even view them. They're kind of more mature content than regular shows, honestly. I don't really consider them cartoons. Shit can get mad dark, mad deep. A lot of life lessons learned, too. One of my biggest motivations is from Gurren Lagann. It's like, it. they like... They push their limits, right? Like the whole idea of the show is to try to keep going higher and higher and like like realizing there are no limits to yourself or limits to the world, you know? Like you can do literally anything. Like they keep pushing the un the impossible, like the unimaginable. They just keep going. Like it's just crazy. And I that shit really hit me. Ever since I watched it, like it's just I don't know. Just hits different. I like a lot of good life lessons, no cap. <laughs> I'm a magic user, not a magic Garen makes me cry every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I re when that happened, I had to. I was so sad. I had to stop watching for a little bit. I love him. I, I, I like he. It's like one of the like you guys ever get like attached to a character that doesn't exist, like either from a book or a story or something like that. That was that was that was common for me. That guy, like, he's a, my fucking role model. Like, it sounds crazy, like he's actually my role model. Um, what are we doing? I don't even know what we're doing. I'm just been lost in thought here. <laughs> Gurren over Naruto. Naruto has its like Naruto is a classic because most of us grew up with Naruto. I think Gurren a little better. Naruto's like great because it's like 300, 400 episodes. Should I be grabbing something? I don't even know. I don't even know. But uh, Gurren, I, I I like the shorter ones. I like the I like that Gurren is just 27 episodes because I I like them to end. Have you ever watched Full Metal? Yeah, Brotherhood is phenomenal. One of my also favorites. 
I like Brotherhood because I have a twin brother, so the whole brotherly bond part of that show, like, it's just dope. I like to see what the brothers went through together. You guys want to go water, Divinity? Have to go to bed and have a nice stream. Hey, take care. Eltsama or Elsa or Eltsitama. However, maybe. Elsa have hit hard for me. Elsa was a cool character. I've read Akamega Kill and I was like, what the fuck are you doing with all the characters? I never read that, but I've watched it. Alright, I don't we should probably figure out what we're doing. Hold up. Let's focus on this one. How many beasts? I don't even grab units like this. I don't even know why we're grabbing units. I haven't even paid attention once to these seven rounds. Yeah, I usually try to eco too. I mean, who needs to pay attention? You just hire her, huh? Maybe this. Should I just grab the blink? Fuck it. Goblin Witchers? Goblin Witcher? Is that a thing? That's the classic deck, the Goblin Witchers. Ooh. Goblin Demon, yeah. Goblin. I was gonna go something with Divinity, but... Goblin Demon, huh? I haven't done Goblin Demon in who knows how long. Top guy playing Goblins too, though. No one playing Fallen Witcher, though. Besides Boo. But he has an Ember. So this could either be a transition into 6 beast one. Or Goblin Demon, we'll see. You want to take trans Beast Transition 2? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Pretty good, pretty good. Samurai Champloo is such a good anime. Yeah, Frozer is a fan of that one as well. I've never watched it, but I hear it's like a lot of like hip hop, which is kind of cool. I think you need to roll into level 7 or 8 for goblins, right? Yeah, you kind of need an early Venno. But we'll see. I think at this point, I just want an early Fallen Witcher. I might just use these books for the Fallen. And build around that. I've not seen many 6 beasts, so I think we just go from goblin to beast, right? That should at least top four, top three. Mana. I mean, you gotta assume there's a mage somewhere in here, right? This here. Divinity? Divinity for a little bit? We go here. I don't see any beasts. Oh, we could use that Witcher. And we have mana items, right? No, you still lose points for a top four. 
But I consider top four a win. Even though you lose points. A lot of fighting scenes with really nice character development. My one problem with it, it makes me want to fight. Damn, alright. Getting aggressive there. Alright, so let's roll for the Witcher here. Fallen Witcher. This guy. Should we actually go Beast? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I mean, at this point, screw Divinity, right? We just do this. This, I mean. Alright, never div, so we'll sell that. And we got goblins, I don't know. I don't know. But goblins tend to fall off a little bit. I don't know. I don't, we'll see. What do you guys think in the chat? You guys think go six beasts or go goblin demon? Alright, can I just get the Witcher and I'll level? Beast? Why no Witcher? Oh my god, using everything. Never Witcher. Never Witcher. All those rows say beast. Yeah, I just wanted that Witcher ASAP. Cause that's that guy's gonna help us continue being healthy, I think. Guess Witcher doesn't exist. I know we rolled we rolled so much too. Alright, alright. Witcher. Okay. I tried Goblin Witchers and I regret the decision. Yeah, I mean, it's not that. I mean, you probably need a fall in three to really get that going. Oh, this guy got a Storm Shaman from, uh, from Panda. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's gonna have to be 6B. So let's start dropping some of these, um, some of these goblins shortly here. Did you take out the Witcher with the mana item? Nope, I got the right one for Ozora. <laughs> that would have been bad. But yeah, thank you for making me check though. You never know. Go ahead and drop this. We'll keep Mech for the books. And we'll put in Beast. Imagine having a Fallen. So I think this one we probably just eco up to E. For 6 beasts first. We already did like so much rolling for this Fallen and it just refuses to show up. We're still missing Worm, Lord, and uh, Razor. They should be too crazy to find, right? Stay on 6 and look for the last fall and then he go? Really? We're on a win streak though. I think it's always attack speed here, right? Thirty-three odds on the three. Oh, really? I didn't even think about that. No, it's thirty percent. Thirty percent. It doesn't change. It doesn't change at all. So this is the play. I think we drop Mech here for four beasts, right? 
And this is gonna be the Fallen Witcher. It's gonna be the Fallen Witcher right here. Okay. Um. Damn, I want mech, but what are you gonna do? Oh, where's my second mana? Yeah, yeah, we're mana. Perfect. Just missing the Razor Claw. We'll have this um, three-star unicorn. But man, Fallen Witcher is so- it's eluding us. How many Fallen Witchers? None, 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 none. I just- I'm not even asking for a three-star. I just need to- we even use all our Heart of Mechs. How hard is it to get this guy? How many Heart of Mechs did we use? We used like eight, I think. Wow, what a high roll. So... So six beasts, right? But these guys kind of strong. There we go. Okay. I wanted to roll for that bad boy. All right. If we were gonna put six beasts and drop our uh, our go goblins, we needed the fallen. So that's what my my mind was doing there. I was like, should I should I roll? Because <laughs> we just dropped two two stars, you know, and we take his streak. Give me that money. All right, we're chilling. Six beast bait? Nah, six beast round seventeen is perfect. You can't get it any earlier. The, the Razor Claw was the nail there. So it could have been Goblin Witcher, but it's definitely Six Beast Witcher. Here. So we're streaking here. What do we want to do? Maybe just go up for Full Witcher, huh? I actually don't think we lose to anybody, though. Why would I lose gold? If someone was running a Taboo, I would level. But I don't see any taboos. So I'm not gonna love them. What's next? Ag dupes or Fallen Witcher? Uh, it's usually like Taboo Witcher or Doom. Or oh, Warlock, maybe, you could consider. Whisper Seer? Yeah, Whisper Seer is pretty good with tempo. What do you do already if you have six beasts and a Witcher? Anything you want. You can add a Taboo Witcher if there's more Witchers. You can add a Doom. You can add a, a Warlock. Whatever you find, really, that doesn't kill your economy too much. Desperate Dog gives us Warlock. We can add a second Tusk. I might just do that. <laughs> ASMR, yeah. Just a little bit. I'm just killing the rest of this apple here. There's some edges here. I'm a bit hungry. Alright. always puts uh, doom in six piece yeah the reason doom has been so popular in six piece is because the meta is divinity so it's always doom you could also just roll for the three stars because who is going to stop you great idea i would love a fallen with your three star multiple doom for insects yeah a lot of people do that should we just push to nine i feel like we can just push levels no but at 9, what do we- at 9, it's easier to find Doom. We could even find a Dark Spirit as well. I don't think it's very likely if we roll- you, got, you guys seen me trying to get, uh, freaking 3 stars at 8. It never works. I might just go to 9. Shaman, watch out. Yeah, but he's very far from 4. Oh no, he- you're right, he does have 4 Shaman. Surprised he didn't transform there. Yo, and Eddie, or Edie, appreciate that follow. More Magicka. Mm, I don't know about this pu this uh, puppet mask because it could be infused, so I don't know. 
I'm not even sure what we need here. We already have too much mana. So not mana. It's either this or this. A Doom and Venno and Granny. I think this is worth leveling for Warlock and a Doom. I think so. Yeah, we just we'll put both in there. Doom gives us Warrior. War Venno gives us Warlock for lifesteal. Holy Spirit. Oh, you're right. It's yeah, you're right. There we go. Good thinking. It gives us damage as well. So the reason I level is because we're trying to keep the streak, right? Oh, I lose the D. Ah, I thought I had Tabu. No, we completely threw. Wow, I thought we had Tabu. Right. I'm so used to playing this with Tabu. But who needs Demon? Who needs Demon? Look at that. Demon, unnecess not necessary. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Ah, uh, so how do we do this? I mean, there's no, there's no. What do we need Doom for? Actually, Doom against Goblin, Doom against Knights, Doom against Knights, Doom against Warriors, Doom against Pandasins, Doom against Cave Shaman, Doom against Doom's not really doing much right now for us. I don't know if Doom ever goes in at this point, actually. Man, what a high road? Yeah, we did pretty good. It was all from those- we high road goblins early, and the f we had a pair of Fallens that we just hit roll, 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 roll. I'm actually gonna drop Doom. It might not be a Doom game. Unless it's always a Doom game, but we'll see. Hmm. So I want a Dark Spirit. I know that. Ooh, I've seen six six beasts, four Warlock. So if no one's running Taboo, at 9 and 10, you throw in two more Warlocks. Dark Spirit and a Desperate Dog. So six beasts, Witcher, four Warlock for infinite lifesteal. That might be the play this game. Since no one's running Witcher. Yeah, let's try six beasts, four Warlock with Witcher. I think that's what we're doing. It seems to be good in this lobby. The two-star Fallen Witcher carrying us all the way. Resistance Cloak. You can have it. You either do Doom Carry or Fallen Witcher. Yeah, Doom if there's a ton of Divinity, but like I said, there's zero Divinity players. What happened to all the Divinity? P people are just tired of, of Divinity at this point. Hmm. It's probably better than this for now. Let's roll like a little bit, see if we find some Fallens and some Tusks. That works too. Rogar, that is much, much, much better. Gives us Warrior. Oh, but we're still running Double Demon. Ugh. Alright, we'll save it, we'll save it. So Rogar's gonna go in at 10 for a little bit. No, oh, the Ember Blade. Are we losing a streak to pandas? It's gonna be the 1v1 with Ember. But it's rooted, and the Fallen Witcher gets it. Yeah, I was I was gonna add Rogard, but I forgot. Damn, that's a tricky part. We need Witcher and Demon, huh? I still like the four warlock idea. That's probably gonna be my go-to, but we'll we'll throw in Witcher Rogue for a little bit. Yo, and Gather, how's it going, man? We're doing pretty good. We're on a 12 win streak right now, which is, um... Uh, yeah, we're just playing meta today. Enough complaining about the meta, we'll just, we'll just play it, right? Just finished a beast game, and my ogre double ult to the razor, and I had three bears. Yeah, that's a feels good ult there. Feels good ult. That needs to be an emote. Live crystal. Perfect. So that you guys said it. So holy spirit lance. Damn, but I guess it's either infuse or holy. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that. 
Ja. Mm, you guys think just go to 10 and throw in a Rogarn? Is that too crazy? I want to keep my streak. Tell me if this is too crazy. Alright. Alright, let's see what happens. Do it? Yeah, I mean, throwing in a Rogar to buff up our Fallen carry seems good. Oh, but the Granny's on my Fallen! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, it didn't get to- oh, oh my god, get wrecked. Get wrecked. I'm assuming Rogard ulted, because he's still chilling. So yeah, Fallen Witcher's buff right now. No, don't tell me we lose our streak to Venno. Don't tell me this. Venno versus Fallen, get out of here. Get out of here, no way, what does he have? A bunch of mealstorms, don't let me down, Fallen. There we go. I'm gonna drop this for a little bit. So yeah, I think it was worth. We're just streaking it out over here. We're just looking for Dark Spirit, and I'll probably try the 4 Warlock. Other than that, we're just looking for the 3-star here, and the 3-star here. Hey, how's it going, Crumb? So, Pan the Goblins. I've seen so many of you guys say Pan the Goblins, Pan the Goblins. And this guy, the South Korean player, is actually doing it. Wait, we play him again? No way. If he breaks my streak this time, I'm salty. Three star Tusk? Yeah, we're gonna go for it as well. We just need two. Oh, we did much better this time. Yeah, this is like a first place, just from the tempo. What are candies used for? It's just pretty much gambling. Like, um... It's like, not too crazy. It's just like something fun to do in the chat. Or like, I can raffle off 10,000. You guys can just do exclamation point join and you get some candies. Lancer? We can consider Glacial if we don't want to run these two. What do you guys think? Rogard? Hmm. Like we could do this keeps Warlock and this gives us Glacial. I just I don't know what's better. Bro. Oh you meant in game. You could just buy stuff with it, I think. That's like your ticket into the in-game championship. Um, there's like some cosmetics for it. Sacred Lancer, carry me! Wow, throwing in that sacred last minute there. Clutch. Alright, keep it going. There's our first Fallen. Pick this boy up. Are we, uh, is there a world where we ever put Witcher back in? <clears throat> I'm gonna drop it for now. Might regret it though. How do you know if you qualify for the in-game tourney? I think it tells you, no? Wow, Avenge 3 star. That ruins our streak. Avenge 3 star is insane. Yeah. Goodbye streak. It was, it was a good run, though. It was a good run. We got time, though. What is he running? Just Glacial, right? Glacial Knights? Yeah, the classic. Six Knights, Glacial Agresses, Warlock. And that's another top tier comp there. Yeah, staying at 8 for Avenge Knight. Just the perfect how to play it. Just ran 6 Feathers, 6 Sins with Ember 2 Star. Destroyed the whole lobby. Damn, yeah. I've tried Feathered Ember, but I can never get the 2 Star. Oh, 
Only you could use big halberd for this. Oh, dark. Uh, maybe dark. I don't know. Goodbye game, not win, not streak. This beast gets 40 stacks for win. You think we just lose to the Avenge? We'll see, we'll see. We might have to take the blink off if anything. Now we're keeping our options open. If we get a two star road guard, we'll definitely replace um, this stuff. But for now, keeping our options here. But yeah, very likely this Avenge just goes off to win it. But I would love Infuse or uh, Holy Spirit. That'd be clutch. It's gonna be Holy Spirit this game. Let's go. We didn't even we weren't even offer a Wraith. Dark Spirit. Mm, tricky, tricky. See what four warlock can do. Oh, four rock was almost enough there. Man, these three star carries popping off. So much clubs. I don't even want to go for this three star, but we should find the razor claw. There we go. All right, now we open up our bench here. Egg for a uh, fallen or dark spirit two star. Refresher dark spirit two. Let's go. That's what we're gonna try to get. There we go, the Dark Street 2 dumpster in for a little bit. Alright, six knights, four warlock, and how much wooden clubs are we getting this game? Oh my god. Infinite clubs. Go for the wormy boy too. Don't forget about three star tusk. Yeah, I know it's kind of tough because uh, we're at ten. So we kind of need refresher and uh, infuser cures, I think. Wow, and our three, our two star dark kind of just whiffing here. I think maybe a 3 star witcher may get there. We'll see, but this girl is just getting her stacks. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, he got a curious? Oh my god. I'm new to the game. What does a warlock change you? It gives you life seal, furious. Life seal. So at 2 warlock, 15% life seal to all units and abilities. At 4, 30% life seal. So pretty much double the life seal on our carry here. One more Tusk Boy here. Now what's up? Yeah, Bench 2 is too strong. Yeah, once we get Tusk 3, I can put some items on it as well. Now, if we get two Rave Shards with a Curious and an Infuse, that'd be kind of nuts. That's a bit too ambitious, I think. But there's a lot of good stuff we could hit, I, I'm pretty sure. But I think regardless, I think, uh, no, both would be good. Granny? We don't have room for Granny. We would have to drop six beasts. Everything is full. You know what's funny though? All these guys would have to do to counter me is throw in one Witcher. Like just one Witcher and I would have to not put Warlock anymore. Which is pretty funny. Hopefully they're not in chat. 
<laughs> Ice Armor Refresher? We'll see, we'll see. Because if they put in a Witcher, I have to take out four Warlock. You can only get away with this in specific lobbies. Live Crystal? Okay, so it's gonna be Infuse, I believe. Cure is good too, though, but... I think this bad boy is pretty... Ugh, they're both great. Let's do this, though. Give me all the, the attack. Actually, maybe Steel Plate. Fuck it. Steel Plate on this one. Alright, we'll keep digging. Rogue Guard would have been cool. And there's our Tusk. So let's go ahead and move everything here. Let we'll Tusk be another carry. Alright, Infuse Mass, Holy Spirit Lance on the Fallen Witcher. This is literally what I said in my item guide. You play a range carry, you go for these two items. So, hopefully I don't let you guys down. Oh, did, oh my god, are you serious? I didn't think we would actually get two Ray Shards in a Refresher. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, that is dirty. If there's a chance to beat this Avenge Knight, this might be it here. Oof. I did not think- Alright, this is probably the best item game I've had in a very long time. Usually items don't go this well at all. Oh, we should move the Avenge Knight though. We're, we're cooking ourselves here. Yeah, that was my bad. I, I didn't realize what was going on. That's nah, all good. Egg. You gotta, you, you gotta fake him out a little bit, you know? Alright, so one Dark Spirit, two Dark Spirits, in uh, Fallen Witcher still chilling in the back. And there we go, the Fallen Witcher carry! It's not even three stars yet. Oh, we spoke too soon. This Avenge Knight's too stacked. Oh, we stole the streak. We stole the streak. Move Fallen? Yeah, I know, I know. But you can't move it too early because then he moves, right? You gotta you gotta hit him with the with the juke, you know? Dude, this is so many dark shirts. I think we got him again. Yeah, we got him again. Damn, but Worm was on the wrong side. I thought he maybe switched it. Dude, this Avenge Knight is so stacked. Once we- Oh my god! The one shot! Jesus, man. That Avenge Knight, it's two stacks. How many stacks does it have? 500. We have such good items. That crit, yeah, he she he does have that crit item, so it was a nasty crit. I don't even know what else we can get here to make us stronger. We can't really get much. Maybe the reflect. I've seen I've seen uh Avenge Knight 3 kill herself from the reflect damage before. So maybe. Yeah, maybe the Reflect. I don't know what what else. We don't need Claw. We got another Wraith. Can I do anything with that? I mean, Wraith's gonna be better than... Uh, 
Is that? We did the reflect damage, right? Oh my god, what the hell is event? Event Knight just slicing at this point. Oh, this is the battle of the hyper carries. The battle of the hyper carries. This is nuts. Absolute nuts. Fallen 3 design so cool. Yeah, I love the wings. Really like them. We might have to change the, the blink. Oh, my Fallen Witcher got instantly... Wait, it got Penguin. I got penguin. Some three stars look so epic, like Fallen. Then you have Tus. Tus, Tus is okay. Yeah, this penguin item destroyed us. Let's see if I can change it. We could also try taking out the the TP, but the reflect damage good, I think. Oh, we destroyed! Wait, this is it! This is it! GG. GG. There we go. It just took the final round to beat that Avenged Knight. GG. Get out of here. Easy falling game. I told you guys, that was the reflect damage. I swear. I swear that was the reflect damage. It blinked on the Avenge, and the Avenge Knight instantly died for no reason. How much reflect damage does that do? That's the second time I've seen reflect destroy an Avenge, because it crits so hard that it just kills itself. Watch, how much how much damage does that item do? Looks like a YouTube hit? Yeah, for sure YouTube. For sure. That was like, you didn't know where it was going, so that makes it exciting. Alright, how much reflect damage? That item is underrated. Probably just in my book. I, I see a lot of top players take it, but I think that item will beat the Avenged Knight Flicker Staff. So, reflects 100% of the damage received. 100% of damage received back to the attacker. So, I think Avenged like, hit us once and then it got reflected to death. I think. I think. Could be wrong. We might have to watch that one back. Unless, because we didn't have crit. So I don't know how we would have critted it so fast. I think it was like, I don't know. We'll have to look back at it. But I don't know, what do you guys think? How did Avenge die so fast? Because it died super fast. Nice Fallen game? Yeah, it was crazy. Hit this man a PhD. Hi myself watching on YouTube. Well, this part won't be on YouTube, so you can't say hi to yourself. But if you were in the game, it's...